Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how I created this, this and this with just one light. Yes, you heard me right, with just one light. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am a Dos Artistry, a photographer based in Nigeria. This is my official YouTube channel. Here I post creative photography, artistic photography, my editing style and yes, my behind the scenes, how I create those bangers, bangers you see on social media. So here today, like I said, we are creating with just one light, this parabolic softbox, one, I think 180 or 185 parabolic is what I'll be using for today. So without no further ado, I'm not here to waste your time. This is a very straightforward video. We are going to go straight to this tutorial yo let's go straight to the light again now we have this parabolic you can see this parabolic is not pointed directly to our model but rather across the model you can see i have just a very tiny distance between the parabolic the backdrop and my model and the reason why this light is set like this for this particular um, um for this particular shoot that i'm going to do is because i don't want the background to be very exposed and also i don't want our model to be very very exposed I, so you can see the um, space or the distance between the um, parabolic and the background and also the little the small space between the model and the parabolic so, so the equipment we are going to be using for this shoot today are one i have my sony a7 arrow 3 then on it i have the uh, 1.2 mmg master like this lens is but don't worry you don't have to use a g master lens or a professional i mean not like a good lens like this to achieve something that like you can use any 50mm like a 1.8 50mm lens i should be able to come out with the same results that i'm going to get with this and i have my 8600 which is the main and only light we'll be using for this shoot today and also the goddess s2 trigger is what i'm using so before we go further i'm going to explain something when you pick up your camera or when you're about to shoot anywhere be outdoor or indoor all you need to do at first is just take your camera and take a test shot from there you now start to figure out what is wrong with the picture and what is needed to be adjusted so i'm going to do a practical um, example of that i'm going to take a first shot now and let's start setting up from there so now my light is on the camera setting and everything i'm going to tell you i, I have 7.1 aperture now i have 250 speed then i have my iso set to 80. let me take a first shot this is very dark like i'm not seeing anything like i'm not seeing nothing so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to off my lights and just set the camera i want to make sure i'm able to kill the normal ambient light inside this studio so that the only light or the only light source would be just the one coming from our parabolic. So firstly, what I'm going to do with my camera now is bring down my aperture to, bring down my aperture to like four, 4.0. Then my speed, I'll bring down my speed to 100. Then my ISO set to 80. Let me take another session and see. So, this particular shot, you can see it's just the pink dress that is popping out and I'm going to leave it like this so that it's going to be more like a few lights for us. This is going to serve more like a few lights. Like, you can see the light is not really, really bright. It's not that vivid. So we are going to brighten our subject now using our key lights which is the parabolic. Now let's introduce, let's introduce our lights. I'm going to turn the trigger on and let's, so let's take another shot. While our, the trigger now is set to 256. Let's take a test shot and see. 
this is nice this is really nice this is really nice you can see we are using just one light and the light right here is looking very very different because you see more of the lights you can see that feathered light and we just have a little highlight eating our chin or sorry our cheek bone right here then you can see the background is not taking like no light at all there's nothing too much there's no too much light eating the backdrop and this is exactly what i want but i would love to expose this even more but yet i will not be working i'm not going to expose from my camera i'm going to try and increase the light our light here is set to 256 let me try to bring it to 125 or 126 let me go and here and bring it to sorry 128 let's see this so now this particular picture we are having on the speed is 100 iso 80 set to 80 then the f stop which is the aperture is set to four which is 4.0 so now let's take another shot This particular set of brush here is still the same. We still have, we still met, we maintain the same, the same length or the same um, um, space between the parabolic and the backdrop. So nothing has changed. It's still the same. What's changed here is just the parabolic, the light position. Instead of um, coming from the um, from the left side and coming across her, then she's getting the feathered light. This time it's coming from on top. She's still getting the same feathered light, but now it's pointed to the ground instead of to this other side. So now she's still getting the soft light. That feathered light coming out from the light is what is eating her and also eating the backdrop. So let's see. Okay. I love the position you gave before. Just, just continue like that. I think yes, good. Let me see. Beautiful. Let me see. I think I prefer this. Now look a, a little away. Yes, just look a little away. Let me see. So you can see the difference between this light setup and the other one that was coming from the side is. You can see how the light is hitting like the whole of her face and to the front and everything but the light is still not hitting the backdrop at all. You can see that the backdrop is still having that nice texture, the green is still popping out and everything is still standing out without any light hitting it. So let's take another shot. This is a close shot. We are going to take another one and see. So um, right now you can see that the light is still pointed to the ground, just the same position, just the same setup we did just now. So, but the um, um, our position has changed because we are trying to do something different and for her to give us a different pose. So we are just going to take like a test shot of this and see how it's going to come out. And don't forget, our power is set to 128, then our speed 100, then aperture which is the f stop is set to 4.0 then our eyes remains in 80 so we are going to take another shot like this and see how it's going to come out yeah let's, let's see okay i'm going to come down a little because i want to be more don't forget the light is coming from the top so i want that shadow a bit from the down so it will have that contra contrast and contrasty look and also artistic look This is sick. This is sick. So you, you, you can see, you can see how the light is hitting on top of our cheek, but the down part is having that feathered, that feathered light, and this is looking so stunning and beautiful. Let's take a couple shots and then we're good with this pose. Let's see. Before we change, I would like to try something. I'm going to bring this light close almost like she's going to be in between the lights i'll bring it close and the light is going to be like hitting the backdrop and also to the front you know this is like a very wide parabolic so it's going to 
Come on, let's see how. Let's just try. Let me just bring it there and show you. Okay, I'll bring this down a little. So, so let me take a test shot of this before I'll bring the camera closer for you to see how the light is set from that other angle. Let's see. I think I like this, but the um, I think the light is too much on her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bring the light to 250, 256 instead of that 128. So it's set to 256. Let's take another shot and see. So you know the light is coming from this side. So what you're going to do? Make sure your chin is always you no. Know, Lift your chin, like almost like you're always looking to, to not your eyes. Okay, okay. Bring the hand down, just put them together. Let me see. Okay. I think this is nice, but I think the light is still too much. Let me see. So the ceiling is like really, really close and I think this is one of the disadvantages or this is one of the things that I suffer inside the studio because I can't bring my light up the way I want but I won't allow that limit me. So you can see all the setup we've been doing since I've been able to shoot even with this type of space. So I'm going to bring it out. So I'm going to try this. You can see, you can see, okay. I think I'll take another shot now, then I'll bring the camera close so you see how far away the back the light is from the backdrop and also from the subject. So let me take another shot and see. Beautiful. I really love this. You can see this side of the face now, the right side of the face is more contrasty while the light is coming just from the left side and this is looking really stunning. So I'm going to bring my camera from this other side so you'll be able to see the lights from this side too. So you can see the distance between the um, backdrop and the light. It's just a very tiny distance. You can see then she's a little inside the parabolic and you can see it just we just have just a little inch away from the background and this is exactly what we want and don't forget i already took a shot just now and you can see let me go back you can see that the highlight is more from the left hand side then why this side this side of our chin and everything is looking contrasty you can see this is looking really artistic and is what we are going for all this is um so i decided to do something else something different so i i the same setup we had before i just moved the parabolic just a little away from the backdrop and she's a little under the back the parabolic too so let's just try this position and take some couple shots and see how it's going to come out okay let's see Beautiful. You see, this is still with the same setting. Don't forget our ISO is set to 80, our F stop, which is the aperture 4.0, while our speed 100, our light, the group C is set to 256. So let's go. Let's take another shot. Nice. Close your eyes like that. Yes, babe. Okay. So we are still going with the same setup, but different position. You can see now we are on the ground. So let's try this and see. Let's take a test here. Okay, I think this is looking too dark. I'm going to bring back the light to 128. So let's see how that one is going to come out. Let's take a test here. Perfect, perfect, perfection, perfection. Okay, I'll take a couple shots then. You see? Okay, turn your face, turn your face to the side. That's good. If you find this tutorial really helpful, please, I am on my knees. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like, and even leave, leave your comments. I would love to know your opinions and also tell me the type of video you love to see up next on my YouTube channel.